Hey everyone and welcome back. My name is Lori and I am here today with a really fun haul for you. It's been a while and I have been doing a lot of shopping, enjoying rummage sale season and church rummages and estate sales. It's been a real lot of fun for me um, entering my first spring as a serious reseller. So I do resell on Poshmark and a little bit on eBay. Poshmark is where my heart is at. Um, so yeah, I have a lot of fun things to show you today. Um, I think I have about 40 pieces scattered around the table here and some new brands to me, um, things I've found for the first time that I've been on the hunt for. So if you think you'll enjoy this, stick around. Um, I have about 40 pieces, I'm guessing, so it's not like crazy, um, but I'll try to give you a little bit of background story where it is needed and then I'll try to hustle through some of the other items. So thanks for stopping in. Okay. For starters, um, you may have seen my Instagram page. I'm still not positive if this is authentic, but I'm feeling more and more confident about it. Um, I had run into a Savers one day while I was nannying, and I found this on the rack to go out. I believe it was marked $5.99, and it is a Missoni. And I'm really excited because not only is it a great brand, but it's also a really beautiful piece, kind of can be worn off the shoulders. It does not have any information outside of this tag. Um, it looks like the care tag had been pulled off and that's why I'm questioning the, authentic the authenticity of it. But I'm feeling really good about it and I am gonna send it in with my um, Thread Up Lux box because I believe this qualifies as my Lux piece. Um, and we're gonna see how it does. So I got that that day and um, also that same day, not so exciting, but still cute. I got this Vineyard Vines long sleeve t-shirt and it is in an extra small. It's actually perfect condition. The, the brightness of the green doesn't really even show up on film, but it's really nice. Um, also that day, and you guys can let me know what you think about this. I, I'm kind of thinking I wanna um, sell this locally. It's a Kate Spade bag and I saw it, they were just rolling it out and I love being at the right place at the right time. And so I grabbed it um, in all of the, material here is in really good shape and the inside is beautiful as well but when I got it home I noticed that I don't know if you'll be able to see it here but I noticed that part of this was coming off so see where it's black here and then it goes to white that piping has actually come off and you can see where the threading is so I was a little bit bummed about that because I did pay up for this. So I paid $20 for it. Um, well, actually I had a 30% off coupon. So this was $14. The comps on this bag are anywhere between like 59 and say 75, $80. New with tag is over a hundred. I think it retailed for over 250. Um, probably not the best buy, but it's tough to turn down a nice Kate Spade tote. But any of my Kate Spade fans who might be local, I would be happy to sell this for like $40 locally. Um, otherwise, I'm going to put it on Poshmark and see how it does. Um, okay, that same sale, that same day, I picked up these shoes. Um, and I picked these up. Uh, they're Donald Kleiner shoes. And I liked that these were a piece for the children. It looks like it was some sort of a collab, um, but they're just really pretty sandals and they're in really beautiful condition. They are, I'm not sure what the size, they're made in Italy. They look like they're like a size, uh, oh, here we go, eight and a half, my size. <laughs> so really cute. I paid about 550 for these um and i will probably list them around the 40 dollar mark and see how they do and always take offers um oh also that day and this was also on my instagram um i'll try not to make too much noise i found this vintage clutch which i don't know why i'm so obsessed with it but it's just so pretty very heavy the beading on it is really gorgeous um, and it does fit my phone, which I'm filming with, otherwise I would show you, but it's in really good condition and you can see all the beading. That's so pretty. I have it listed kind of high. I have it listed at $49 because I'm just like it that much, but um, would definitely take offers on it. But I really loved this piece and I think this was $3.49 or something like that, but it's a real beautiful piece. So that was also from Savers. Um, a couple weeks back when I went to pick up my son at college, we stopped at the bins in Connecticut. I've actually processed most of those things and I'm a little regretful that I didn't do a haul video, but I just have a couple pieces that I haven't processed just yet that I figured I'd share with you. 
This is just um, a Brandy Melville sweater, just a basic, but it's like a light, it's a cotton blend. Um, and there's the, Brandy's just like a one size, um, you know, teen fave sort of thing. Uh, college students like it. And um, I just like the colors for upcoming 4th of July. It's great, like on those cool spring and summer nights, you can just throw it off with like some cut off jean shorts. I thought that was a great pickup. Um, I don't have that listed yet. Um, I also got at the bins that day, or this may have been a rummage sale, honestly, my head's spinning. I have, when, when, I, um, when I go to stores, um, I was recording it on my iPad and then I lost my eye pencil for like a month and for Mother's Day, I knew it was stuck in my couch. Um, you know, so it, there was a hole on the side of the couch. I digress. And I knew that the pen fell down the hole and then it was in, it was stuck inside the couch. So we actually had to cut a hole in the liner that's below the springs and feel around. So I pulled the Mother's Day card and I told um, Jay and my boys that that was what I wanted for Mother's Day. So Jay and Rocco literally had the couch flipped over on Mother's Day, but look what they found. They found my pen. So I was recording all my um, inventory on my iPad. So I had to go back to my old school. So as soon as I get something from the store, I write it down. I say the location and I write down the price or if it's like a buy the pound, I write down like the, the average cost of goods for me. So I have all sorts of estate sales things written down here. So I'm kind of trying to look and see where I got these things, but I'm pretty sure this was from a rummage sale. And I think I paid about two or $3 for it. And the brand is Saturday Sunday from Anthropology. Um, it is a size medium large, and it's just like a cute cocoon-ish type dolman sleeve, um, little sweater that ties in the front. Just a nice basic. Um, okay. This was from that same um, rummage sale. And I didn't realize this was an anthropology brand until I got home. Clue in Willoughby in a size medium. So this was new to me. I just thought it was really pretty, like a little Tweedy vibe with, um, not Tweedy bird, Tweed material. I don't know if you can see like the little metallic shimmer. I think you can. Um, and it's really nice. It has like this uh, pretty ruffly pleated section at the bottom. And I'm sure this would be super flattering with the black on the sides. So I grabbed that. Um, what else, what else? Oh, this I think I also picked up at Sabres. Um, and I thought the comps would be better on this. I don't know why I thought this was like a higher end brand, but um, the brand is Bench. And I thought this was actually a really cute bag. This was not expensive. I think it was $2.99 with 30% um, off and it's got great pockets. Almost looks like it could be a fun like camera bag. Outdoorsy, um, but there is, there's a little bit of dirt on the bottom, but I think I'm just gonna throw this through the wash. I'll probably still list it for like $25. Um, it was really cute. What's next? Okay, so I'm gonna, shift gears a little bit um, and tell you about the estate sale that I went to um, in one of the neighboring towns. It was a two day sale. I went on Saturday and the prices I thought were relatively high as they can be at estate sales day one where you're where you're getting a lot of designer stuff. But I kind of looked through everything like there was a St. John suit, but it was $78. But then I went home, the comps were like between 150 and 300. And I was like, ah, maybe I should have tried to pick that up, maybe offered 50 or 60. Um, there was a Ted Baker blazer, definitely more career wear. And my closet is not like super career focused, but um, I did pick up two things. And I also showed this on my um, story the other day. So, um, okay, so just, just to tell you quickly, the one thing that I picked up as far as clothing went was um, was this Ibex jacket. Um, and I did pay $21 for this, but I mean, they had like Ann Klein blazers for $25 and then they had this for 21. And I've had really good luck with this brand. And I'll show you, that's the brand. It's like an outdoorsy, lots of wool. And this is their little logo emblem. Um, so anyway, this I paid $21 for, and I'm feeling really confident that I'll be able to get like 50 or $60 for this. Um, I've had, I've sold two sweaters and they both sold within the week. Um, one sold right away and I think the other one was like a week, maybe two tops. Um, 
And I took a lower offer of like mid forties on the second piece because we were headed into spring. Um, this I will definitely hold my ground with. I got to do, a, I have to do a little bit more research, but I may even list, list this at like $75, just given that sweater sold for 50 and 40. Um, so I bought this and this is all I was getting. And as I was checking out, um, this was at the register and it's like this, and I actually, I love it so much. It's, it's a Gucci, um, like an envelope style clutch. And you can definitely see there's some wear, like um, some of the brass is just like rubbed off here. I don't even know if brass is the right thing, but the sheen is gone. It says Gucci here. Um, the stitching looks really good. It opens like, you know, like one of these in the suede inside, and then it's got like the Gucci gold right here. I have done a lot of research, but I'm still gonna pay to have it authenticated. Um, so the issue with it is that this did not clasp. So it looks, it appears like it would, would clap, clasp and it makes the sound, but it actually doesn't. Which I don't know about you, but I didn't think that that was a super big deal. Um, if it were a tote bag and it was like open, something that I was gonna use every day and I was worried about people grabbing stuff out of my bag, but, but for this, like the weight of the leather is so heavy, I really didn't think it was that big of a deal. And um, we're going to Italy this summer and I've been dreaming about buying a Gucci bag, but I know they'll be so expensive. So anyways, this may be my Gucci bag, unless I decide to sell it. So at the register, buying my $21 Ibex jacket, and um, this is just down and it's got um, like a Sharpie and it's marked $45. And I was like, damn, that's a good price. So I said, what's, what's up with this? And she's like, oh, so many people have picked that up today. Um, the woman who's running this is annoyed by it because people want it and then they see that it doesn't clasp. So I said, well, $45 is a really good deal. And I was seriously thinking about buying it for 45. And um, she's like, well, go ask her. She's on her lunch break and see what, what she'll do for you. So I went around the corner, big smile. You gotta be really nice at these things. Um, and I just said, hi. And she said, oh boy, the Gucci bag. Like it was a bad thing. And I'm like, be nice to my future Gucci bag. Um, she was super nice though. She's like, yep, I've had that marked at $95 and I took $50, $50 off halfway through the day. This was day one of the sale. And um, she said, but it's still not moving. Everybody wants it to clasp. And I said, well, what, what can you do for it? Like, you know, can you go any lower? She's like, how about half off? I'm like, Yes, yes, all day. So she marked it to $22. So I got a Gucci bag and an Ibex for $43. So it's probably going to cost me about $22 to have it authenticated. So I will end up probably back at that $45 mark. Um, and I think I'm going to do it whether I decide to keep it or move on. But it's beautiful signature. And I'm really excited about that. I haven't found Gucci yet. So everybody say a little prayer that this is authentic and um, I will keep you posted on that. So day two, I went back to the sale. The next day was Mother's Day um, and we did all of our stuff in, at home, saw my mother and um, had a really nice morning. And then I said to the kids, I'm out of here. I'm gonna go back to that estate sale. So I got there at two o'clock, it ended at three, went upstairs and, and the, the Ted Baker was gone. The St. John suit was gone. So I was like, ah, oh, let me just look around and see what I can get. So I poked around and I got some stuff and I'm sorry I'm talking so much, um, but basically everything was half off. And there was a, tor a Tory Burch dress that I really liked. They had marked at $98. I'm like, people, that's too much money. Um, and I still wasn't gonna buy it for 45. So I was going downstairs and I was checking out and now it's quarter to three. And the woman at the register, um, I picked up a bathing suit and I said, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get this bathing suit. She's like, just take it. We're donating everything in 15 minutes. Um, and I said, really? She's like, yeah, is there anything else you want? I'm like, well, there was a Tory Burch dress. There was a, um, I'll show you. There was another dress and there was a, um, a skirt from Anthro. She's like, how about just grab them? Just go, go get them. So I come downstairs, I have the Tory Burch dress the anthropology dress that has a new tag on it, a skirt for $250 and a Trina Turk dress, which isn't like my favorite brand, but I, I liked this dress. She's like, how about $3 for each of them? So she gave me the bathing suit for free and then she gave me the two dresses and the anthro skirt for $9. So I got a Tory Burch dress for $3 and that made me really happy. So definitely the moral of my long-winded story is to stick around estate sales at the end and honestly, I should have gone back upstairs and said, you know, what can you do for $20? But um, 
Anyway, this is the dress. I love the neck on it. It's just a simple black dress from Tory Burch. It's a size four. So very pleased with this for $3. Um, and it is my daughter's size and it's really pretty. So I might have her um, model that for me. Um, this was another dress that I picked up that they, they had marked $12 and the woman upstairs gave it to me for $3, uh, $5. It's just a Michael Stars, but really pretty like little tie dye maxi dress. Um, really cute for the summer. It's a size small. All these things are in really lovely condition. And um, this was the anthropology. So here's the funny thing about this. It's not an anthropology um, RN, but when I looked it up, it only came up on anthropology. However, the price tag is definitely dated. It's $239 and it's from Native Sun. So I have heard of Native Sun, but when I went online, I don't know if they're out of business, if I just searched it incorrectly. But um, anyways, the brand is Beth Bowley. Bowley, am I saying that right? And this is a size four. It's just a wool blend skirt and it's got this beautiful like ribbon trim. And um, the fabric underneath is this beautiful blue, um, like kind of an icy blue. And I just thought that was a really pretty skirt. They had this mark for $60, by the way. This was $60, the Trina Turk dress was $60, and the um, Tory Burch was $98. So to get those three pieces for um, $9, I was really happy about that. So this was the Trina Turk dress. This is like, gives me Austin Powers vibes. Um, but anyways, it's a cute yellow. I loved the color. I loved that it was probably a very flattering cut for people. Um, it is a size six, and I believe this is already up in my closet. Um, very nice fabric. I liked this, especially for $3. Um, okay, that was from that sale. Oh, I also picked up, oh, that's from something else. What else? Oh, oh, this I was excited about. I have a friend, Stephanie, who is a good friend, and she's kind of new to reselling, and she picked up a Veronica Beard beautiful maxi dress. Um, I think her closet is um, Weekend's Closet. So check it out, it's a beautiful maxi dress, um, like a $575 value. And it's one that Prince Harry's wife wears, Megan Brand. That's what my friend Steph said. So I'm like, gosh, where have I been under a rock? I've never heard of Veronica Beard. So anyways, when I was out at that sale, I found this. So again, funny, they had an Ann Taylor blouse that was marked higher than the Veronica beard. So they had this marked $18 or whatever, but they gave it to me for seven on day two. It's 100% silk, but there is a flaw before anyone gets too excited. I didn't see it until I got home, but all this beautiful kind of eyelet detail. Um, it must have just gotten back from the cleaners or had been, it still has tissue paper on it. It's gotten quite a few likes already on, I have it listed for 68. It retailed for 368, something like that. So the issue is this little mark on the back right here. I tried to get it out and it's not coming out, but it's not, I mean, I don't know, maybe someone will come in with like a $50, $40 offer that I'd be happy to take. But um, I paid seven, it was a new brand. Thank you, Stephanie, because I definitely would have passed on this um, had I not known that brand beforehand. Um, this I picked up, I was thinking of the younger crew. This is just a vintage hardtail t-shirt in like a really pale, pale yellow. Um, question for everybody and comment below. I have been like getting certain shirts and cropping them. Um, cause of course like the young kids come over, they hang out here on a Friday night and they're like, oh, that would look so cute cropped. Some people think sell it as a full shirt and let the people crop it where they want. I feel like cropping it makes it like a little trendy up front if I were to do the cropping. So I'm curious what your opinion would be as a consumer and as a reseller. So if you could comment below and let me know what you think, should I crop it or not? Anyways, it cost a dollar. I'm not gonna overthink it. I'll probably crop it. That's kind of what I wanna do. Um, I picked this up at the estate sale, half off. And I think, see now the athletic shirts, they had marked only for $3 or $4 to begin with, $3. So I paid two. Um, or $1.50. This is just an Athleta with like a built-in bra, one of these types that's kind of funky to show, um, in a size medium. 
Athleta. Oh, and I didn't show you the hardtail. This is the old, this is an old hardtail shirt. Um, find these at Nordstrom's. I have a cute pair of like uh, dip dye, tie dye um, joggers in my closet. Um, this sweater, I had no idea. Um, the first time I went in, I did not have my phone with me and I was dying because I couldn't check comps. That was day one. But it was just as well because I wasn't buying much on that day. But these are all like studded snaps. This is a new brand to me. I want to say it's Maje, M-A-J-E. Um, and this is a size one. Um, so these, this is vanity sizing, but I just picked this up and I'm like, this is definitely quality. Well, these retail for like $300 and this cape is beautiful. Um, I've seen it online and it has sold, um, you know, in the between 50 and $75 range. So um, I didn't see any of the off-white ones. I saw some black ones that sold. This is just super classy, beautiful. Um, I'm guessing there's some wool in here. I need to look at the fabric content. But anyways, um, I need to get that listed. Really pretty. Um, oh, and I think that's it from the estate sale. I didn't go too crazy. What's this piece in front of me? Um, I'll see if anything else pops up. But I did go back to this. So this, um, it says it's marked as pajamas and they were new with tags, $6. So day two, they were three. So I'm like, I just looked in and it looked really pretty. And I just looked at it really quickly. And then I got home to run comps on this. And the reason I'm giving the background story on this is because it was called Jilly's. Um, I don't know if anybody's heard of this, but of course I had not. And I, I looked online, I really couldn't find anything. A restaurant kept popping up. So then I just looked on this tag and it says, Jillies are designed to give women's style, comfort, and privacy during medical care. To learn more about Jillies working, how Jillies working to improve your treatment experience, please visit us at www.jillies.com. Wear it well. So I think, well, I don't think, I know, instead of a Johnny's, it's a, instead of a Johnny, it's a Jilly, get it? So it's this beautiful, like, you tie for privacy for when you're in for any sort of treatment at the hospital. So I'm actually not going to sell this. I want all any of my viewers, if you know anybody going through treatment right now who would like this for hospital visits, if they're going in and they're having testing or needles or anything, it's just this lovely, like, um, soft, like, purplish pink, um, mauve -y light thing. And I would be happy to send this to them. So please let me know if you know anyone who would like this or their hospital visit, that would make it a little more comfortable for them. And I will ship it out to them free of charge. So there's that. So I think that's it on my estate sale from that particular estate sale. So another new brand, I'm finding all these new brands and I've been really excited. So um, I think it's Rally Roots, um, Ryan and Allie. I love their channel. Um, they're down in Florida and they, I've heard about this brand through them because I think it's a younger fratty type of brand. And this I'm pretty sure is women's. So I don't think I'm going to get too, too much of this, but the brand is Chubbies. Um, I think they're pretty well known for their shorts. Um, and they're like a preppy, but preppy brand, but this is, has like parakeets all over it and it's a robe. And I haven't looked online for this. I do believe they have a woman's line. I don't think this is men's. Um, but in addition to that, um, which I got again at the end of the day at a different estate sale in the same town, and I paid $5 for this and $5 for this. And this is so soft. Um, let me just find, this is, this is a robe, another robe. So that one's like a pullover and this is just like a luxury, soft, soft, soft robe. Um, and it has like neon flamingos and palm trees and martinis and waves, just super fun. Um, I could only find one comp on this and it was on eBay and it sold for a hundred dollars. They are not available. Um, I have it listed on eBay a little high because it sold high on eBay and I have it on Poshmark for $90 and it already has quite a few likes. Um, but anyways, it's like perfect condition. I'm not even sure what they retail for um, originally. Um, otherwise, I may have been tried to get closer to that. But anyways, I was really excited to find Chubby's, another new brand that I haven't seen before. So that was at, um, at a second estate sale. I'm trying to think of what else I can grab. This is from a rummage sale, and it is Cartonnier, Cartonnier, 
from Anthropology, just like a nice knit blazer. With, it's like a moto style with some zips, zippers. Um, I got these sneakers. They are a Nike and they are a size 10. They're in really beautiful condition. I think I picked these up at Savers or another rummage sale. Um, this was one of my favorite things that I picked up and this is high on the random scale and not clothing, but some people may appreciate this. So I recently purchased some Cutco knives from a nice girl who um, is in college and she's the daughter of a friend. She came to my house and she did a presentation. She did a great job and I spent $350 and I was like on the cheaper end. I did not get a set. I got six knives for my, just six kitchen knives, like table knives and a spreader for cream cheese. $350. I have to say I don't regret it. They are so nice. So I was at a yard sale and I just recognized this handle. Um, there was just this little set of like these kind of serving type of things and they were a dollar a piece and I'm like those look really nice. Why do they seem so familiar to me? And then I saw on the middle that they were made in the USA but I was in a garage and I couldn't really see because my eyes are bad too and I stepped outside you're probably not going to be able to see it but anyways um it said Cutco and I'm like that's what it is that's the handle anyways I picked these up I'm going to sell these obviously not on Poshmark on eBay um and I'm following I'm watching some other stuff I, I mean I'll probably get 25 or 30 dollars for those four items but I had to get them just because Cutco um, is super expensive and I love the vintage wood handle and the quality is amazing it looks like she probably hand washed these for 30 years um, so I was happy to pick those up I got these slippers these are emu slippers um, and they're in beautiful condition they have this little shimmer Obviously a little, little out of season, but I still listed them. Um, I per picked these up at the bins in um, Connecticut. They're in really good condition. A little bit of like wear here, but otherwise gorgeous. Um, I think I have those listed for 40. And I always list high as um, if you watch my channel, you know by now, and then I just take offers. Um, and that is a system that really works for me. It gives me some wiggle room. Um, this dress I picked up strictly on style and the fact that I loved, loved the pattern. Um, it's like woodland, like pink trees and fox running around. And um, are there fox? Yes. I thought this was the coolest, coolest thing. Um, it's a cute little dress. The brand I think is out of, is London called Paper Plain. The comps weren't anything like out of this world. I think I paid $6 for this at a Goodwill in New Hampshire. I was car hunting with my son, Anthony, and he's like, I figured I'd let you know if you drive me out there and help me look for a car, there's a Goodwill like a half mile from the dealership, which I thought was really nice of him. <laughs> so I found this there and it's a size small and it's adorable, flattering, A-line wrap dress in a small. Um, I think someone's gonna really love that. Okay, back to my estate sale. I guess I found a couple more things. This was the bathing suit that I almost put back. It's a Lucky Brand bikini, and they had this marked $14, so it was seven, and I was like, I don't wanna spend $7 on a bathing suit. She's like, just take it. So I took it, um, and this I have listed right now, and Lucky Bathing Suits have done pretty well. It's a size large. Sorry, I'm totally struggling. It's like a halter style with a tie in the back, and um, it definitely looks like an older Lucky Tag, but it's a size large. I love Lucky Brand. I love it. It's kind of a bohemian feel. I love that. Um, this is also from the estate sale. She sold this to me for $1. It's just um, a Kemi and Kin. I've sold this a couple times. It's an anthropology brand. I like their pieces a lot. Just a very simple, like a lavender, very lightweight um, top. That was cute, and I got these jeans. She had um, she had a lot of jeans that were, would have probably been super hot about five years ago, um, and some of them were these Hudson jeans, but I do like getting the Hudson jeans that has this type envelope um, pocket, um, and I liked that this had some distressing, and it, um, they were size 30. I'm not like huge into buying a lot of boot cuts just because I have a lot in my closet right now, but they had these marked um, at $16, and she's like, I'll give them to you for seven. And I said, will you do five? And she said, yes. So I picked them up for $5 because I like that they were a size 30 um, because I'm trying to just, you know, add some slightly larger sizes into my closet. I believe I got this at the bins. 
or maybe it was Savers. It's just H&M, but I loved this bird flying. I thought it was really cool. And this is in stellar condition. Isn't that so pretty? Just really, really pretty. It's just H&M and it is, wait a second. It's a size small. Pretty, fly away birdie. Um, what else do I have to show you? Um, so this, this is from the Goodwill store in New Hampshire. I think I paid $5 for these. They're like the Bermuda length page and they're the newer tag, which is really the only page that I'll pick up at this point. Um, and they are a size 25, a little bit of a lower rise, but um, really cute, really great condition. Um, these just sold and I hate that it's gonna make so much noise. I think I'll just show you on my um, iPad. Um, when I was at, I believe it may have been Savers, um, time out, sorry. Um, these, these are the um, Lucky brand makes these Asian inspired um, sweatpants, sorry. Um, and I sold one pair um, that was listed. I think I only paid $3 for them and I sold them full price for $55. Now I have another pair listed um, that I also picked up or they may be my own that I have listed at 48 and they're really not moving. So I'm ready to drop the price on these. So I picked these up because I thought these were just incredible. Um, and they were not much money. I think they were $349 at Savers. And then um, I just wanna show you the back as well. And then they were 30% um, off, mm, excuse me. So anyways, um, I picked them up and then when I got them home, I saw that they were a kid size seven. So I was a little bummed, um, but honestly the measurements would have measured for like an extra small. It was like a 13 inch waist. Anyways, they sold yesterday for 20 bucks. I took an offer. I had them listed at 35, $20 offer. I don't love having kids clothes in my closet only because it doesn't move and it's very time consuming to keep sharing it all. And I keep saying I'm gonna, remove them. So anyways, sold. This belt I got at the um, estate sale where I got the Chubby's um, stuff. I love the detail. This is so heavy. Um, I measured this belt as nine ounces. So online, there were a bunch of cabbie belts that um, were very similar to this, but this does not have any markings except for a number here, 5827, that I looked up and I saw no information on. So unbranded, but absolutely beautiful boho. Um, and the size could fit, you know, it, it's a varied size because it, you just pop the back latch into any place on the leather belt. So that is listed, I believe, 30 something dollars um, online. Okay, this was also at that same estate sale. Um, Ange has prom this weekend and she's informed me she needs Spanx, which I disagree, but she wants some Spanx. So these were at that first sale. So I saw a pile of them. There were six, I think she took a pair. Some are like this super high rise Spanx and then some are just shaping shears. Anyway, um, when I asked the woman, she's like, I don't know, a dollar a piece. And she had six of them and she ended up giving them to me for $5. So I got six pairs of Spanx for $5. I'm like, oh, I'm sure that's a good deal. I don't know how much they cost. Well, I got, I looked a little closer and they're from Nordstrom and each pair was $28. So, you know, 80 cents for 85 cents or whatever it ended up costing for um, six of these, I thought was a great price. Um, a lot of them are selling on eBay for about maybe between $12 and $20 per pair. So I haven't decided if I'm going to lot them, if I'm going to sell them individually, Poshmark, eBay, I'm not sure. But I thought that was a pretty good pickup. I love that so many of the things I got were just different this time. Um, okay, so I showed you Tori, showed you that. This was at the yard sale in New Hampshire. I was really excited about this because I, I wasn't finding a lot of stuff there. Um, and then I saw this, it's the Square Tag Cabbie, which is the newer label. And it is a nice jacket and it is like brand new, like brand new. And they had this marked for $6. So it's got this cool mesh back, um, but it also has at the bottom, it's got like this built in I want to say like a liner, like a shirt almost in the back. So you're not going to see your back because the black liner, but it's knit and it's a little longer so it can cover your booty if you want that. Um, just really cute front zip gray. Um, and I think it's just called the mesh back jacket because I checked out the style number, which is included on all of your cabbie stuff. 
um, and this is a size medium. So there's that. Um, what do I have left? I think. Okay, so I actually found four or five other pieces. So I'm gonna just edit this in before I say goodbye, or maybe I'll just end with this. Um, but I did find some pieces that I thought were worth coming back to show you. Um, one of the pieces, and again, I think I fe featured this on my Instagram page, was I got this um, new with tag Chan Lu wrap bracelet. It has Swarovski crystals and freshwater pearls, and it's really, really pretty, this beautiful bracelet, and it's new with tag. Um, I paid $7 for this at one of the estate sales, and this retails for over $300 new. So I was really happy to find this. I have it listed around $80 or $90, um, but it's a beautiful piece, and I had no idea um, that it was such a valuable little piece, and I was really happy to find it new with tag. A um, couple things that I got at the bins that I figured I would share. Um, and this is flawed, um, and it's not something I typically pick up, but it is a vintage Burberry jacket. And Burberry's is um, kind of a way you can know that it's older, is when it says Burberry's. Um, and this was from, I'll just show you some of the inside tags to share. It's a men's jacket, 100% pure wool. Um, Mario and Joseph, men's clothing. It must have been maybe like a boutique in New York. Um, so there's that. But it is a suit jacket without the um, pants, so I'm not sure what I'll get for it. But there's Burberry's. Um, so I need to measure it for size. And I did find this one wool, you know, probably a moth hole. So overall, like, who knows? I'll probably list it for $39 or best offer. Um, I'll check comps. But because there are some issues, I'm not positive. I'm pretty sure it's real. But um Anyways, there was that, and this, you've probably heard me talk about this brands before, another vintage piece. This has like the little, like little Swiss dots um, in its lawns of Salzburg. Um, this is a really pretty vintage robe that I found at the bins, and it came with the belt. I believe there was the teeniest tiny little spot um, that I probably couldn't even find right now, but I'm going to list this on eBay. Um, the the nightgowns, the plaid nightgowns do very well for me. This I picked up at the Goodwill store, not the outlet. It is a Toad and Company dress. Can you believe I left all these pieces out? <laughs> I went downstairs, I started putting things away and I found all these. I'm like, I forgot about these. Um, this is new with tag. It is the Pharaoh dress. It's $89. I paid $6 for this. Brand new with tag. It's a size extra small and like a charcoal gray. It's got like a scoop neck and pockets. Really cute. Um, this is like new. I got this at Salvation Army. No, I take that back. Savers. And it is cool brand. K-U-H-L. Um, this is a great outdoorsy brand. This is a woman's flannel shirt. Um, but what's really cool, besides the fact that it's in like new condition, is it's fleece lined. So this retails for over $100. Um, I think it was $147. Um, I, did, I was able to find the stock photo. It's a, a recent item that's actually still for sale on some sites. I was really happy about that. Um, out of season, but that's one I'm going to just post and, and stay pretty firm on my price through the summer. Um, and this was my first, finding, first time finding this, um, this brand, Flax. I got this linen, uh, like little jacket shirt. I guess it's just a shirt, but it's kind of like blazery cut. Um, this one says Flax by Jean Englehart. It is a size small, kind of this like rust color. Um, and it has like this little button right here. Anyways, I got this at the yard sale where I got the Cutco knives. So I just wanted to reflect on that and show you some of the other items that I got for today. And that is officially the end of my haul. Thanks so much for watching. If you're interested in any of these pieces, please comment below or you can message me on Instagram. I'm at Lori Tata, uh, 1973, L-O-R-I-T-A-T-A, -T -T 1973 on um, Instagram. And if you want to check out these items in my Poshmark closet, I am at Lori Tata. So thanks again so much for watching and I hope you found some information helpful. Take care. Bye.